How notorious was he? You mentioned he's a kingpin, so obviously that's the top of the food chain in the crime market. But right. how how wide was his reach? How notorious was he? His reach is, I think, underestimated. He came to America, worked for a very, you know, well-known organized crime leader at the time, Stephen C. from the Ping Long Triad in Boston. Mm -hmm. And he essentially rose to the top of organized crime because he was getting recognition for how brutal he was. He caused a lot of fear in others. And by doing that, he gained a lot of power. And at that time, the social climate, there were a lot of immigrants coming from Asia. And Chinatown was just building at that time and growing. So there were a lot of young men that were trying to survive. And this seemed to be the path, path of least resistance when you're an immigrant and you don't have many resources and you need to provide for yourself and perhaps even a family. So I think that his reach went beyond Boston. It probably went into New York as well as Canada. When he goes on the run, he goes to Canada to escape the authorities, but not to stay stagnant by any means. He was constantly creating gangs and means of, you know, gaining power and money through organized crime. Mm 